It's been two years since Daniel Prude's encounter with police led to his death. It prompted protests and rallies that made national headlines. And two years later, community members are pausing to remember the incident and also celebrate Prude's life. Amel Elhel joins us now live in Rochester with more on that day. Amel. Teresa, the pain from this encounter is just as bad as it was two years ago. That's what Daniel Prude's brother Joe told me today. I spoke to him about that night and how he is managing two years later. We do want to warn you, some of the video you are about to see may be disturbing. That night, man, it was just uh, something I just couldn't even point my finger on it and I couldn't even digest that. It has been exactly two years since Daniel Prude's encounter with police, which eventually led to his death a week later. His brother Joe says the pain he is feeling today is the same pain he felt two years ago. Color ain't got nothing to do with this. Y'all took human life. Y'all took my best friend from me. Who gonna replace that? March 23, 2020, police responded to the area of Jefferson Avenue and Dr. Samuel McCree Way, where Daniel Prude experienced a mental health crisis. Body camera footage from that night showed officers pinning him to the ground, naked on a cold night, putting a mesh spit mask over his head. The Monroe County Medical Examiner's Office ruled Prude's death a homicide, listing his cause of death as complications of asphyxia in the setting of physical restraint. You guys get the dirty out please? I got to live with that every day. That video plays over in my head 24-7. Information of the encounter was not released to the public until seven months later in September. The events that followed led to violent clashes between police and protesters, turnover at City Hall and City Council, the resignation of Rochester's police chief, and multiple investigations, including one from the state attorney general that ended in a grand jury deciding not to hand up any criminal charges against any of the officers involved. Stop playing politics with Daniel Prude's name. Y'all killed my brother, and there still is no justification. At the end of the day, Joe Prude asks the community not to forget about his brother, to keep his name alive, and to continue holding those in power accountable. Tonight on News 8 at 6, we will hear from community activists on how they are using the day to celebrate Daniel Prude's life. Teresa, back to you. All right, ML, thank you. One of those events is taking place at MLK Park, where the community will be setting lanterns into the sky in memorial. That event will begin at 7 tonight.